Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Loot Chest Gaming. Uh, so, if you can remember from the first video, which hopefully didn't come out that long ago, we just beat, oop, there we go, Chill Penguin. Uh, and this is Mega Man X, the very first game that I can ever remember playing. Uh, it, was actually, it was a pretty fun game, I loved it. Uh, if I didn't get that over in the first video, it's just, this was the game to me and I, I've played and or bought every other Mega Man game that ever was there and it's just if I could be Mega Man I would you know I love him that much not like literally love him he's I'm not into men but whatever you know what I mean so yeah so we beat Chill Penguin and as I explained every time you beat a boss in this game and any Mega Man game you get their power up and then their power is the weakness of another enemy and so we're gonna go on to spark mandrel so let's pick him here and I love it you always get like the first little intro here see I didn't understand what he was I thought he was just like some sort of barbarian guy because again when I first played this I was uh, six seven years old maybe eight um, I might have even been five but I didn't know I just I didn't realize that Mandrel was actually an animal. It's a, like a baboon. But I thought he was just a guy. With, you know, one of those weird Russian or uh, Eastern European mustaches. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Oh, actually, that's right. Because we beat Chill Penguin. Um, and because we beat him, nothing changed here. But I feature of this game is depending on which boss you beat it actually affects um, the layout of the next arena so I don't want to give too oh okay so yeah so there's a reason this is just a dead end you might be like well why is there a dead end right here because oh for god's sakes because as I was just saying Depending on which boss you beat, it may actually. Oh man, there's nothing there. It may actually change the layout of the next area. So if I can. Oop, God, I hate the stage. So if I can actually beat the next guy, or a guy, the right one, can't quite remember which one it is, I'll show you what I mean. I'll come back and we'll see. Oh, I hate this. This is cool. I like that. Um, now if I remember correctly, oh shit, no, okay, so it's not that one. There is a secret in one of these, is it this one? No, I don't, oh, fuck. Oh yeah, pardon me, I, I try not to swear, but I probably will swear. I'm just cautioning you now. I apologize if anyone's offended. Uh, I don't mean to offend. Ooh, God, God. I don't mean to offend anyone. Um, but I do swear. I don't like swearing, but I do swear. I think this is it, actually. Fuck. No, okay, no, it's not. I lied. Okay, it's one of those places, anyway. I'll have to remember. I, I might even look up a guy. <gasps> Ooh, see, this is the other thing. You have these cool mini bosses. Oh, fuck. Ooh, I got. Okay, so I have headphones on uh, while playing this game. I didn't even know my TV had a headphone jacks. But it does. Oh. Well, that sucked. Um, oh, I'll have to start all the way back here. Okay, yeah, but so I didn't even realize my TV had headphone jacks, but I never heard that the sound that guy makes the whoa when he turns into his gel form. Come on. Oh, those are kind of homey. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't know any of the backstory or 
anything to this for playing um, years and years ago. Oh, for God's sakes. I just knew it was a cool game. Oh my God. Maybe it's not here. I don't know. I can, honestly, I can remember there being... Okay. <gasps> sure, why not? Okay. So yeah, that was my fault. I died. I did not mean to. Trying to get certain things. Like there's a... Boom, boom. Let's redo that. There's a Castlevania game, um, one of the later ones, I think it's for the DS, and they might have had one. Maybe for the Game Boy Advance too, I'm not sure. But you could uh, kill enemies, and depending on the enemies that you killed, you would acquire ooh, certain power-ups, but it wasn't a guaranteed thing. You had to sometimes kill quite a few of them in order to acquire their power. Um, because it was, it was technically a random drop. Some had a higher chance, some, there were just so many that you pretty much got it, because you'd be killing 80 of them in a time. Um. Ooh, that was better. Okay, so let's just not do that this time. Um. But no, I would spend hours just farming one enemy just to get a certain power. Just because that's, that's how I was. Um, I had to get everything. So again, I'm not a big collectible fan. But... Oh, I don't have full health. Where's that bird? Oh, come on. Yeah, so I'm not a huge collectible fan. Like, I won't try to get every single collectible. Oh my god there ever was but like if we're playing a game and oh well whatever screw it and there's like a sword in that game you can bet your butt that I will try to go and get it oh come on I don't remember how much health this guy has I'm doing way worse than I thought I was doing. Oh, it wouldn't. You know what? Okay. Screw it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Now you give me health. See, I think if I beat uh, the other enemy instead of him first. Then it makes the stage a lot easier, and I wouldn't be losing as much health. But oh no, no! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut to uh, when I get there. Okay, there we go. See? Okay, now I beat him, and he pulled a cheat move as soon as I entered the room. He immediately glued me, and yeah, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it this time, but see the thing is, oh wait, okay, never mind, could have sworn, there's a part where the room gets dark again, and it's not fun. No, I, I thought I was going to lose it, oh no, I remember this part, no, no. So now that, that guy was actually a lot harder than this boss. Um, not to say he isn't hard, it's just once again you have the proper weapon against him, he actually becomes insanely easy. Oh. 
See, I don't. See, this is this is like what I was collectible, and I don't think. I don't know why I was doing that. See, I don't think I can get it just with this. I think we need. Oh. I, okay, I'm gonna try just for a few seconds more. Gotta be. No, so just above it. No. No, so, okay. I think I need another weapon. Or, uh, equipment piece. But yeah, so no. Compared to that mini boss, the final boss is nothing. Uh, again, the reason why, not because he's actually an easy enemy, it's just once you get the appropriate weapon, it makes him laughably easy. Oh, God. Oh, man. I hate these parts. Okay. It is one of these areas. Okay. It's not that one. Okay, I think it's one of these. Yeah. Okay, I don't remember which one it is. I'll figure it out eventually, but yeah. So I'm going with half health. So that's even less than what the other one had. But, again, with Chill Penguin's weapon, this is always cool. He's laughably easy to watch. Oop. There we go. <laughs> laughably easy. Did you see how easy that was? I'm just going to go in this corner here. Well, that was embarrassing. I deserve all the criticism you can give. I'm just going to skip through this and I'll meet you when we get back to the boss. Okay, and here we are for round two. Uh, as I was saying, laughably easy. Not gonna lose. There we go. See, look. Oh, come on. See, that's new. There we go. Okay, look at that. Laughably easy. Almost killed me, but obviously, piece of cake. And I'm going to show you now. I got that heart piece as well. Heart tank. Heart tank. Uh, no cheats. See? Look, no cheats. But yeah, did it. All good. And obviously, now we beat him. Beat Spark Mandrill. Who do we get? Electric Spark. Who? What? What do we get, Electric Spark? Save our progress. I'm okay, so that one took longer than expected. Uh, I apologize, that was my fault. Um, so I think we're going to end the episode here. Well, you know what? No, we got time. Do one more. Armored Armadillo, Spark Mandrill's Weakness. I'm giving you your time's worth, don't you worry. You want to get through this? I don't care, I like playing the game, but I'll go with you. See, I'm not going to do this because... 
Uh, which one is it? There's one of them here. That one? No. This one. Uh, and I'm not sure why, but for some reason, it drops an absurd amount, or at least a high chance, of 1-ups. And I don't know why. But that's what it drops the most. I don't know how many you can get. I don't know if there's actually a limit. Oh. There you go. Okay, we'll, we'll do one more. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that might be it. Okay, so I think we've actually reached... There, yeah. Okay, so we've reached the limit on that one. So the little minecart that we were on, um, it gets to here. And I believe, yeah, so it gets to here, kills the bird, bounces back and forth, you get knocked off. And that's about it. Surprisingly, I'm actually doing much better with this one. I don't know. So yeah, I loved robots, I loved robot animals, and seeing like robot bats, like that was always cool. Uh, can I kill that thing? No. So there's like a somewhat mini boss here. I don't believe I could kill it yet with the weapons I have. So I think I'll just go past it. It dies on its own anyway, it runs into those spikes, see? You can hear it blowing up in the background. See, one thing I never understood, I guess I kind of get it with some of these enemies, but in games I never understood how uh, when an enemy touches you, you take damage. I can understand it if they do something, or they're covered in spikes, or, you know, something of that nature. But, like, when an enemy just, like, bumps into you or something like that, I never understood how that does damage. Like, these guys here at the pickaxes. Um, oh, God! Okay, see? Spikes. Yeah, that would hurt. That would kill me. That makes sense. Um, oh, for God's sake. But... Like, just bumping into an enemy. Ooh. I don't know about... I don't know if it's just the CD version of this game, but it seems to be running, like, a lot faster. Which it could be, because... Uh, we'll see later on in a section... Um, There was, because this, this originally was on the Super Nintendo, um, and there was a point a l where it just couldn't handle it. There was so much stuff on the screen that there was lag, and I never, I never uh, understood what that was when I was little. I just thought that was part of the game. Like I was like, oh, you know, okay, it, it's slowing down. It's part of the game. Uh, but now I understand that it actually slows down because there was so much stuff and the Super Nintendo couldn't handle it. Which, I mean, I guess it's it's a fairly old system. Like, I mean, I don't remember... Ah, no. I don't quite remember when the Super Nintendo came out. Um, but I do remember it was some time ago. And you know what? Oh, look. I'm just going to avoid that. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I missed. What? Okay, give me one sec. Oh, never mind. We're already here. I don't think I can kill this thing in time, but... Oh! Not quite in time, but... See, if you can kill it in time, uh, you can get that extra little ledge there. And you can actually jump up. But I didn't do it in time. 
Which, you know what, that's okay. I don't need it right now. I already got the first one, so... I'm good. See, this is a part here. I'll show you in a sec. Oh, no, you can kind of... You can kind of see it's starting to... Actually, you know what? Oh, my God. It didn't actually do that bad. Oh, I was already full health on it. Yeah, so in the Super Nintendo version, it crapped out. It was, it just was extremely slow. And you'd be like, poo, poo, poo. When in real life, you were actually like, um, there we go. So this is Armored Armadillo. And he, this was another thing I loved about these games. He had a cool concept. Whereas, he's covered in this armor. He reflects most of your shots. Ooh. But you hit him with your bolt, and his armor flies off. I wonder if I can... Oh, yeah. So, okay, so he's much easier. Maybe. See, the thing was... Ah. Because he doesn't have his armor now, uh, even when he's rolling, he still takes damage. Because he doesn't have his armor on anymore. So yeah, so you can tell that one was a lot easier. Sort of. I'm still at half health. Less than half health. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Count it as a win. And we get rolling shield. Boop. 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 I just love the sound effects. Man, I just love this game. It's... It is a really good game. As much as I enjoy doing this. Oh. See, I've got a PlayStation 1 and a PlayStation 2 memory card in. I keep forgetting. Um, save six, turn the game. I'm going to review these videos. Uh, the reason why, not for just quality alone, although that's probably a big thing. So I'm using the uh, in software, whatever you call it, voice recording instead of an external. Uh, I've got a microphone. I'm set it up with a microphone, but it's it's recording from the program itself or the, uh, the hardware. So I'm not sure how this is going to do versus um, how uh, it's going to sound if I record it ex on a separate program and then just splice it in at the end. Uh, so I'll see. I'll look at it, see how well it comes out. If it's not too well, or anyone's complaining, um, I'll switch it over to the other version. It's a little more work, but, you know, whatever makes it better for you guys, that's all that matters. Uh, so we just beat Chill Penguin, then we moved on to Spark Mandrel, then to Armor and Armadillo, and I believe... Shoot. I'm gonna have to look up. I think... It's Launch Octopus? I can't remember. I'm going to look this up. I think it's Launch Octopus because his uh, weapon beats... No. I honestly can't remember. I'm going to find this out and I will get back to you next time. Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Going to push out some more. Finish this game fairly soon. We've already got like... How many we got there? There's eight. We've got three eighths of them down, almost half. We're going through this. Thanks for watching.